user interface for the Vortex meter, there are two buttons, an enter button and a plus button. We're can a left to the second screen, right long hold, one chimpanzee, two chimpanzee, notice the digits change. I'm gonna increment the digits with to two, right over to the second one, one, two, and then we left, we write long hold after we have the password of 22, write long hold. Now we can see that there are 11 items to look at. This is the units, in this case, liters per minute. We can clear the totalizer, the comm address, the damping, what the um, uh, liters per minute low is, the higher value, the cutoff, whether you want to ignore some low values, the 4 to 20 milliamps is set for 10 liters per minute full scale. The density in kilograms per meters cubed, you can actually change those. This is the factor of the meter, the Struhall number that is done at the factory to correlate the von Karman vortex shedding frequency to the velocity. And the Q mode, this is the mode in which the unit is either steam or uh, volume and such. So let's go to the comm address. When you change it, you hold down the right button for a long time, and then you can go increment the number. So we can go to really high numbers. So I'm going to go back to one because that's the one I'm using, and just hold it uh, the right one long again, and it's done. And when you finish, just hold this left one whoops, and, and left again. So you are done, ready to rock and roll. And as you come out of the screen, the instantaneous flow will go down from some value. So you can look at the, um, using the Modbus. And the Modbus is 9600 none 81 F code three, and it's the PLC mode. And the instantaneous lives at zero and the temperature lives at 16 or 01 hex. The rest is shown in the manual. That gives you a quick overview of this device.